Mm -hmm. Did you? What did you do with the risotto? It's just hanging out over there. Oh, you're not gonna cook it first? How do you cook it? It only takes six minutes, and you just put it in the in the pot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go away, Siri.
don't even look at. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello everybody. I'm not gonna yell. We don't need to yell. We don't need to yell. Oh, but we have the dishwasher on. That is gonna be oh, really loud. That's gonna be really loud. Let's turn that off. Here, I'll do it. Okay. I'm closer. Okay. I'm closest. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get the dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I hope you didn't see it in my mouth. I, you know what I just did? I walked right in front of the camera. <laughs> and you, Did you turn it off? Did it just turn it off? What is? The, uh, oh, I canceled it. Make sure we push start again when we're done. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have canceled it. Oh, I should have pulled it open. Pull it open, yeah. God. Well, it's too late now. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys for the grinding noise. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because I bet you guys can hear it. Yeah, it'll stop soon, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. So uh, we're trying something new today. We are actually going to give you guys a pre-recorded video that we have done in the background while we're talking to you. All it is is it is our um, pre pre-recorded uh, veggie prep. Veggie prep. That's it. See? You can see it right there. Chicken with Italian vegetables. We're kind of covering up the um, title, but <laughs> in the future we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. We'll get it. I just thought this would be a really cool way to show you guys the prep without having to sit through the whole thing and be able to um, maybe show you some dishes. Mario. Thank you, Mario, for the licking on the arm. That's really fun. He was just giving you Show a you some dishes from start to finish in a really fast manner, maybe within even an hour, and uh, more time with Mario this way, a little more time with us. We can talk directly to you with our, um, and look at the chat and get right back to you really quickly. And we like that idea. And um, let us know what you think when, you know, during or after. We will usually can't look at the chat as much during our um, broadcast. But we should be able to... If it least sucks, we'll go back. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to suck. So, anyway, we don't have a lot of people here yet. So, I think we should wait a little bit longer. What do you think? Or oh, should we? Well, it's only 5.04. Yeah, that's true. And I did tell... I did tweet out just a few seconds ago. Yeah, so we're going to give everybody another couple of minutes. And um, then we're just going to get started. And what we're going to do Meanwhile, is... Meanwhile, you can stare at double us. Or double yeah. me. It's me and me. Oh, yeah, and you. You <laughs> and you. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, <laughs> where would you be in the sky over here? You know, if we were standing in front of it, would you be over there? There. Over here? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're right there. All right, Mario, stop with licking. I don't like it. No. No. <laughs> so this is our maitre d' for those that don't know. This is Mario. He's our front of the house, the head of the front of the house. Yeah, he's he's the host. We don't really have anybody coming over, but he's here but to he's host adorable. If, if, if necessary. <laughs> He can host Ziggy, my dog. She won't <laughs> like it, though. <laughs> he likes to try to herd her and make her go places that she doesn't want to go. Well, he's a corgi. <laughs> that's what they do. Yeah. But she's a herder as well, so it's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they try to herd each other sometimes, yeah, yeah. and they just go round, 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 yeah. round in circles. It's pretty silly. It's, it's pretty silly. silly. It's super silly. Yeah. So, okay, so um, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a really fast dish that you can just make up out of your head pretty much. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. You, you've done it before. And it's just a real simple, healthy, very healthy dish of chicken with some vegetables. And we are using pre-made risotto, risotto cheese. I was going to say ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese? No. Risotto. Not risotto cheese. Risotto. <sighs> risotto does have cheese in it, though. Oh. But I don't know if this does or... I don't know. <laughs> I, it's from Schwann's, and it's a frozen product, and um, it should be really wonderful, and we thought it would go really well with our chicken, and um, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All that's right. That's So should, I, should we show them with the chopping while we're talking? Sure. All right, so we'll start showing you chopping while we're talking. And um, 
We won't go really uh, fast yet because there's no need. There's no. There's. We're waiting for people to come in, and uh, to our stream. Oh, Mario, <laughs> please stop it. Do you oh, want to switch please. sides? No, I just want him to go away. Put him down now. No. Oh, I'm. My arm is all wet. <laughs> Do not like it at all. All right. So oh. this is how you chop a vesh, uh, a, a bell pepper. You slice it in half, and then you gut the outside, as you can see me doing right over here. In, <laughs> in that side. On, that, on the yeah. Left, in the little window. Right side. I don't know what side, right side it is to them. Yeah, it should be on the right. Yeah, I don't think this is mirrored. No, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And so she guts out the the bell pepper, and then um, cuts out any little unwanted bits. But when you gut it out, it's really easy. You just grab it with your hand and pull out the insides. Simple. It's the best way. I used to not eat uh, bell peppers as much because there was so, so much trouble to cut. And then she showed me how to do this, and I went, "Oh, this is a miracle!" So <laughs> <laughs> now I eat them all the time. I am full of bunch kitchen of these miracles, kitchen tricks, kitchen miracles. Yeah, uh, Mario, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, so now we're gonna go through this a little faster, and. Um, so that you guys don't have to watch it all. Watch how fast she can chop. Here we go. Here we go. We're going at 30%. That might be a little too fast. Okay, now we're going to go slower. Wait, we got to get this right. 5%. Five times faster. She's chopping the bell peppers. There they go. They're getting chopped. And you can see she slices them and then chops them into dices and medium dices. Yeah? Yeah, medium dice. Yeah. yeah. Medium to large, actually. Yeah. And then, then she's going to chop an onion. See, there we go. Chopping off the onion, getting the peel off. And the reason why you remove the peel is because it'll burn before your onion actually cooks. What? Oh, if you leave it on? If you leave in it In the on. pan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, why would you want to? That's well, icky. Well, Mom, I'm just telling oh. because people, not everybody knows about onions. Oh, all right. Sorry. I ran into somebody who didn't know what uh, um, sliced ham looked like. Oh. I thought it was turkey. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, what do I know? Okay, and then she's going to chop an onion, uh, I mean an apple. She's going to core it, and uh, did you core it? Yeah. Uh, I, I core it. You're going too oh, fast. Oh, see, she cores it. Okay, wait a minute. We'll just do regular on this one. See, she just cuts the core out of the apple. And then she's going to chop it. Oh, wait, not this one. Yeah, not this ah, one. This one was rotten. So she threw it away. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Anybody say anything? No. Good. All right, so then we're chopping, we're chopping. Here we go, some more chopping. Now we can go so, faster, can't we? Yeah. Oh, no, we're almost done. Oh, all right. all right. We only have one minute left of chopping. See, we, we went, managed to go through about 10 minutes in just two. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know what you think about that, guys. Um, if... <clears throat> If you think it's a, a good idea, we will be, uh, oh no, is there a lag? You don't like this form for video? Uh-oh, there's lag. Oh, we should be watching it too. Well, oh, the, there's probably, we're, it's because we're skipping ahead. Yeah, we skipped ahead, so it's possible that that's what you saw. We'll, you we'll work on a better, what? You, oh wait, no, no I didn't. didn't. Okay. I started recording. I forgot to record it. Darn it. Anyway, um, we'll uh, work on this method and see if we can get it a little better. But here's what the vegetables look like when they're done. And now we're going to go to the live prep area. Jessica. All right. <laughs> we got to bring the camera back around. I will. I will. So now we're going to show you the actual... Um, the actual product and we're going to continue making it and finish it up. So wide angle with counter close up. Oh, this is me. Ah. Hold on. I have to move the camera around now. <sighs> this wasn't exactly how I wanted to do this, but it's 
Sort of. All right, hold on, guys. We gotta move the camera, moving it around. Yeah, I It'll think fast forwarding a is a, a bad idea because it looks like the video is lagging when we do that. <sighs> well, and that just annoys the crap out of people. Yeah. Well, I could have done it a little differently. <clears throat> If I had had time. Oops. Oh. But I didn't. Thanks, Navi. What do you say? But keep up the good work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> keep trying is what he's saying. Keep trying. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I thought we had something. Well, we do. It is still the right way to do it. I don't know. I do. I don't know. Okay, well then the right way to do it is to prep everything. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I still think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, I'll sit over here. I will talk to people while you cook, if you wouldn't mind. All right. And I'll let you know what people say, as we always do. Okay. All right. So, I have those veggies that I chopped up really quick. Really quick. Boy, <laughs> really quick. Super quick. Yeah. I'm going to turn on my stove top here. Yeah. Get the pan all nice and hot. We're going to drop some olive oil in there, along with some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Are we going to the stove? No. No. We're bringing the stuff over. Okay. We're bringing the stove to you. <laughs> Something like that. So we got our salt. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. I have to move the um, title. It's in your head. Oh no! Oh. You're being trapped by words again. I think I have the camera too close. But okay, so what, what kind of spices are you adding, Chef? So I just added some salt, uh, tala cherry black pepper. Tala cherry is a, a stronger black pepper than a normal the your uh what would it be labeled as uh table black pepper oh really yes oh this is just the stuff you buy at uh costco yeah oh the Chal chalachari is uh, slightly better it has a little bit of a different peppery flavor oh no cramps didn't get us a uh, notice that the stream started uh probably because twitch is twitchy cramps granites shoot <laughs> well, it did, Cranet. Sorry. She chopped all these vegetables. Yes. <laughs> you missed the chopping of the vegetables, and that's it. Yeah, that's all. That's all you missed. Nothing else. You can see this is a very simple recipe. We're pouring lots of olive oil in, apparently. It's not a lot. <laughs> no, you didn't miss much, Cranet. You just missed the chopping of the vegetables, which we actually pre-recorded. So it was a little different. Oh, thrilling, he says. <laughs> Indeed, it certainly is thrilling. <laughs> very, very thrilling. All right, see all nice and shiny now? Oh, that's shiny. Super that's shiny. Um... I think I'll cut up the stuff for the sauce too right now. Okay. First, let's give this a wipe down. So the sauce that we're gonna do is a balsamic reduction, a pomegranate balsamic reduction, and it's really simple sauce to make. You just gotta watch it. It involves uh, balsamic uh, vinegar. And uh, hey. shallot, uh, a sprig of thyme, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> the pomegranate juice. I need, I need to correct something here, Stacy. That is not an Eagles fan. Cranets, you are correct. That is a Seahawks hat. <laughs> I don't even know what Eagles are. Do you know what Eagles are? <laughs> I know. Unfollow and I yes. love. Don't Seahawks, add love me. Dude, Seahawks. Aww. Well, crap. <laughs> <He says. laughs> oh, well, not unfollow 
and unloved. You can unfollow and still love me, though. <laughs> no, don't unfollow. Stacy's gonna hide in the corner, and you should. It's blurry. Oh, your hat is blurry. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> there, hold still for a second. All right, nice. See? See? <laughs> Hannah, see her? Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. She says, what did you do, Stacy?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. We turned off our autofocus because it was autofocusing, we think, in the wrong places. So It was weird. It was, well, I don't think it helped it, though. <laughs> well, we thought it would. We may have to try it again. Yeah. No. So I'm just mincing up some shallot. You <laughs> actually don't need to mince it up too, too much because we're just going to end up straining it out of the balsamic reduction anyway. Here in the Seattle area, Stacy, it is um, uh, Seahawks Friday every Friday. So it's yeah. a thing to do. It's a thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, now, granted, I watch them, but I watch them for their tight pants. Because <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> oh, the cams? Seem laggy, Cranet says, and the big one seems a little fuzzy. Oh no. Okay, well let me try taking the putting the um Put the autofocus, autofocus back, back on. on if it lets me. I don't know if it'll let me. We might have to stop the stream for a second. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, restore to default. Oh no, I don't want to do that completely. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I can't. You can't do anything about it without stopping. Okay, well... Well, it's not that fuzzy. That's annoying. I, I saw it earlier. It's pretty <laughs> fuzzy. Stacy says, I'm not judging, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. Stacey. Stacy's going to have Vikings Friday. I think you should, Stacy. I think you should start a Vikings Friday if you guys don't already have that. <clears throat> oh, Naughty, you want to go on a Boeing tour? That's adorable. My um, husband works for Boeing. And I used to work for Boeing, too. Yeah, you used to work for Boeing for a minute. Well, for a long oh, time, actually. For almost two years. Almost two years? Yeah. Wow. Then I decided I needed to learn more stuff than what Boeing was teaching me. So I wasn't satisfied with that. And uh, I decided to go to culinary school. Yeah. Because I would like, I would learn things, but I would learn half of things. The chef would be called away um, before he was finished telling me about what, how to, for instance, make a roux or something <laughs> like that. That's not very yeah. nice. Well, all right. Oh, you love me? <laughs> and the 757? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So, we have all of our veggies. We're also going to put in some organic diced veggies, but, or um, veggies, tomatoes. But we really don't need to have them be organic. They're diced tomatoes. <laughs> well, but we, organic just means that they've been growing without any kind of chemicals. Right. So it's not bad. But they also mean more expensive. These are not that expensive, though they're at Costco or Sam's Club. They come that way. All right. So, so. Okay. All right. So. Yes, Kranitz, the maitre d' is on duty tonight. We'll bring him back in the picture in a little bit. No, you need to get, you need to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little maitre d'. Oh, all right. We're bringing him in now, apparently. Oh, homegrown tomatoes, Kranitz, is the best. Oh, yeah. Nothing beats tomatoes uh, that are from fresh from the vine. I, I grew tomatoes uh, ah. two years ago and they were amazing. I need to do it again. There's our maitre d' Mario. Yes. It's a me Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. And if you could put, a, put the dog command. Um, he also has his own Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hannah's going to make peanut butter fudge tomorrow. Nice. Mm. Send us a picture. We want to see. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's 
really hot. All right. You just throw water at it? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? It's a little too hot. Stove? Yeah, we'll do stove. All right, we're going to the stove, guys. We went to the stove, guys. Actually, is it? All right. All right. So like we said, this ought to be pretty fast. She's just going to cook. What are we cooking first? We're going to cook the vegetables first, and then we're going to take the vegetables back out and uh, finish the chicken in here. Okay. And then put the vegetables back in. Because we don't want to overcook our vegetables, but we still want the vegetable aromatics to be included in our chicken. Okay. But meanwhile, since we are doing a reduction, we should do that first. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. All right, we're going to make the sauce first, apparently. All right. Putting in the balsamic vinegar. Or no, was that yeah, pomegranate? Yeah, bals balsamic uh, vinegar. Is that just plain balsamic vinegar? Yeah. It's purple. Well, oh. that's what color it normally is. Um, we actually need to do this first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, if, if we want everything to come out on time at the same time, we got to work with our our stuff that we have. Oh, wait, so, we're going to do a pomegranate. Yeah. Now, we didn't pre, um, pre-prepare the pomegranate because she wants to show you how the magic way to get seeds out of a pomegranate. Yeah, it's good to start with a little bit of a, a roll and... <gasps> Wait a minute. Kranitz just now got the notice that you're you're live. Oh, I just got the notice that I'm live too. She Wow. And this is why we kinda need to just like hang out and prep. I guess so. Okay. Uh, Hi yeah. King Keo. Yes, we're cooking on Twitch. Yep, yep, yep. It is it is what we do. Ah. Okay, I can tell. Okay. They float? <laughs> Credits? <laughs> what, pom oh, yeah, pomegranates, oh, sure. Yeah. They're pretty light. Yeah, they are. Um, I need to find, do you have a wooden spoon? No. Oh. Why? Because that works better, but I can use a... a spatula? Uh, no, I need a heavy spoon. For quoi? For to do what I want to do. We'll just use this guy. <laughs> Credits. Or they sink. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think they float. So we're going to cut them like this. Oh, look at that juice. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now be it. very careful with the pomegranate seeds and such. It, it will, um, the juice, it will cause stains, like, instantly. Like, it's already staining the, oh. it's already yeah. staining the cutting board right now and my knife. Oh yeah, chef, chef has our iPad in the uh, in the picture. Well, isn't that interesting? You can see yourself in chat on camera. <laughs> All right. All right. So now what are you gonna do? You're gonna beat it. Yep. Okay. That's all you needed the heavy spoon. Yep. Oh. That's a heavy ice cream scoopy spoon. Yeah. I might have cooked it the wrong way. You didn't cut it? Cut it the wrong way, but... Oh dear. Is it not going to be magical? It might not be as magical. Oh no. It does take a while. But yeah, as you can see... We won't see, drop the iPad again. It was not my iPad. It was her tablet. I would not have been as forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cut this a little bit wrong. Oh man. I should have cut it from the side. But we're going to kind of spread it out a little bit more. Try not to cut ourselves with juices or do that. There we go. There we go. What are you doing? Beating out the... Can uh, you just beat out the seed? Yep. That's it? Yep. Well, that's weird. <laughs> hey, it really works. Otherwise, what do you have to do? You have to, like, put it in a, a, a thing with... <laughs> Thanks for the follow, King Keo. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to our kitchen. And thank you, Hannah. That's very kind. 
All right, you gotta be careful not to smash your fingers when you're doing this, because that is possible to do. As you can see, it's already gutted most of it out. And uh, another reason to do it this way is, is the pomegranate seeds don't take the white part with them when you're doing it, not usually. See, I've already stained my uh, chef jacket. Uh, so if you do this sort of thing, you want to make sure that you are well covered. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, you, you um, another yeah. way to do it would be to take uh, some water, fill the bowl with water, and just kind of like... Tear it apart. Tear That's it what apart. says to do. But... You want the juice. Yeah, I want the juice, and um, I don't want as many white bits in it. If you tear it apart, you're going to have a lot more white bits in it. Well, this is taking a while, though. This it, it does take a while, but it takes a while the other way, too, Mom. Oh, okay. That's why I always didn't like pomegranates. Because of how long it takes? Yeah. Well, actually, I used to have, um, on my way home from school, there was a pomegranate tree that hung over the sidewalk. And we used to stop and pick them all the time. And by the time I got home from school, I'd have red stuff all over my hands and face and <laughs> and I would just spit the seeds out all the way home you know I would just suck on them and spit them out but that's the only thing I knew, knew what to do with them so are you gonna actually use those seeds I'm gonna squeeze the juice out out of the seeds out of the seeds not out of the rest of it no oh oh weird okay well that's where you get the juice from is from the seeds. oh I don't remember <laughs> well <laughs> you, you, these are the seeds so you guys know, these are the pomegranate seeds and you give them a squeeze. I'm not going to do that because it will go everywhere because these things are like, I don't know, pressure filled. <laughs> <laughs> Granite says apparently pomegranates like it rough. <laughs> well, I don't think they really have feelings. <laughs> All right. Oh, King Kilo, um, just a few weeks. Yeah, correct, Hannah. Mm. Oh. That's going to be really hard to get out of the chef coat. Oh. It's unfortunate. You should have worn a plastic bag. Yeah, I've done that before, guys. <laughs> Don't knock it. <laughs> a raincoat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little grenades, Granites. Correct. Okay. Oh, so now she's going to put it in the strainer thingy. Now normally I would uh, take some cheesecloth and wrap it around, but I do not have cheesecloth. I do not have that, no. That would have been a good idea, though. It would have. What are you going to squeeze it into? Are we going to the stove, Chef? Yeah. You need to let me know. <laughs> okay, now we're going to the stove. And you can see she's... Can you show them sort of how the juice is coming out of the bottom? Can you try? Your hand is in the way. There you go. Oh, see? There is juice in there. It's coming out. Yep. No wonder pomegranate juice costs so much money. It's really hard to do. Yeah. Well, they use machines, but even still. Yeah. <laughs> Ziggy. You want to see Ziggy Kranitz? After she's done squeezing pomegranate juices, we'll get Ziggy and show you. Thank you. Ziggy would like to be on camera, too. Although, she'll, she's probably sleeping. <laughs> Resting after being played with by a corgi for days. <laughs> She's a little tired now. Yeah, I actually didn't go home night, last night. <laughs> oh yeah, last night we um <laughs> we binge watched a television show. There, what's it? Oh. Man in the High Castle. Yeah. On Amazon. That's a weird show. <laughs> it was good, but it's weird. It is gonna look like a murder scene. <laughs> Ah. Oh, hi, Brand, Brand Shazam. Thanks for joining us. My, he, says my, he or she says, my grandma calls pomegranates pog, pogrinaz. <laughs> is, is that an, ac an actual language, or is that just what she calls it? Uh, I don't think, I think that's what she just calls it. Okay. Do you have River Song in your profile? I do. What is River Song? River Song or uh, is uh, I met her. 
um, at Comic Con um, last year or the year before. Oh, is that the lady Alex? Yeah. Oh, Alex Kingston. Gotcha. Alex Kingston is her real name. Yeah. And she's also been in ER. Yeah. She was in ER for a long time. So her character name is Riversong? Her character name in Doctor Who is Riversong. Oh, funny. Oh, Bran Shazam's grandmother is Jamaican. Oh. oh that's cool. That's really cool. Hi, Flipsy person. Hello, Flipsy person. <laughs> If you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart and drop a follow. I'll love you forever. I also have a Twitter, at Working Chef 2. Do you use jerk fruit in your cooking? What's jerk fruit? Or maybe Kranitz is, uh, Kranitz, are you asking Bran Shazam? You must be, huh? Yeah, because I don't know what that is. <laughs> now, I noticed you put such, are there seeds in your, um, Bowl there? No. Yep. That's not seeds, right? No. Yep. Sonami Del Burrito. Hey, Hi. Sonami Del Burrito. <laughs> Hi, best friend. How's it going? Just dropping in to say hi. Hi. Spelled with a H A I. <laughs> Alright, you're boiling over on the stove. Well, so, good, because that's what we want. Thank you for the follow. Branches Am. Branches Am. Welcome to our kitchen. So, not only do we have food. Oh, God. We have dogs. We have a maitre d'. Our corgi named Mario. Yes. He's so adorable. Oh, we got another follow. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we'll thanks say. for the follow. Thank you. Oh, here it is. It's... Oh, Flipsy person. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you for the follow, Flipsy person. So we're gonna... We're gonna... We got it up to a boil right now. We're gonna reduce it down a little bit. Uh, to like a medium. And we're only gonna let the aromatics in there. Which is the um, thyme. No, 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 Major D. No getting impatient. <laughs> Thanks, King Kilo. So we're gonna have the um, the aromatics, which is the the thyme and the shallot, kind of just simmer simmer in there for about hmm, a minute, and then we're gonna take it take it out and strain it, and uh, then we're gonna put it back in. And it will be reducing for the rest of the dish. Now, do you have to strain it? I would. I like little bits and things. With a reduction, that's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a very smooth sauce. Oh. Sauce. Sauce. It's supposed sauce? to be a very smooth sauce. <laughs> <laughs> smooth sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, what's what's a a key? Uh. Aki. Aki? Bran Shazam, what's a uh, Aki? It, and and Kranit says there's something called a jerk fruit in really? Jamaica. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Never heard of that before. Yeah. I haven't heard of it either. I was just in Jamaica too, darn it. If I had known, well I wouldn't have had time to look for it. I was at the beach. <laughs> or no, I wasn't in Jamaica I wasn't at the beach, was I? Oh, yes, I would. Yeah, I went to the beach and I went to um, the waterfall. Yeah. So there you go. If you ever go to Jamaica, you do not have to hike the waterfall. No matter what anybody tells you, you don't have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can look at it and walk into the water and out of the water. That's just fine. <laughs> Take pictures of the silly people hiking up it and holding hands and almost getting killed. Sure, do that. My husband made it halfway up and then said, okay, that's enough. <laughs> he wasn't thrilled. So I'm not happy with the size of this guy, so I'm just going to cut him a little bit in half. All right. Just so he cooks more evenly with the rest of them. Aki is a fruit, but the typical way it's cooked makes it look like a vegetable. Oh, cool. Does the sauce take longer than the chicken prep? 
Yes. Yeah, probably. The chicken prep is super easy and fast, and we're almost done with that. Yeah, I actually got to cut up said chicken. Forgot to do that. This is a very quick dish. If you were not talking to people online and trying to film it, it would be, half you'd, an hour. you'd be done in half an hour. Yeah. Really? Oh, my darn. Interesting, Bran Shazam. Thank you for the info. He's telling us about the, um, the fruit. Aki. Cooked with Aki. oil, onions, peppers, saltfish. Usually, oh, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I always love to hear about different cuisines and, uh, different products that they use. I've never heard of the the Aki. Yeah. Am I turning to the uh, close-up camera? Yeah, I guess. All right. We're so, just going to cut up some chicken. Woo! Yeah, um, <laughs> we partially defrosted this in the microwave. I do not recommend doing that because it already partially cooked them, so it's going to cook on any evenly and probably be a little bit rubbery. Oh, Krantz! Jerk spice, of course we know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I see. Yes, we have actually made jerk chicken ourselves. It's pretty simple. It's just the spice, really. We haven't made... I, I don't like a lot of uh, hot spice, so we haven't made the true jerk chicken, probably, but uh, we used a lot of the same spices that go in it. my mom, I like it hot. <laughs> They're having a discussion now about it. <laughs> okay, since we're done with our cutting board completely now, we're going to put it into the sink there to wash for later. Okay. We're going to add some salt and black pepper. Tell a cherry, because tell a cherry is delicious. Or your regular uh, table black pepper will work too. <laughs> and we have some salt from the sea, which Chef says all salt is from the sea. So <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's just purely a marketing term. Yeah. All right. It looks like uh, looks like my. Balsamic reduction needs to be stirred. No, uh, strained. Strained. Where's my strainer go? In the sink. And we're just gonna strain that really quick into a, a thingy. Oh, am I back on the stove again? Did I mess it up? Did you forget to go back on the stove? Am I going back to the stove? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you don't tell me. I don't know. I watch you and I think I know. Oh, I'm pretty quick. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. A lot of the time. Okay. So, um, anything else they need to know? Uh, no, I just strained the balsamic right there, and um, we're going to give it a taste, and we're going to season it with salt and pepper after it's done reducing. Okay. Because uh, reducing vinegar like that uh, creates it, causes it to be really salty. It, it, somehow it concentrates the salt. Oh, the chicken's in with the vegetables now? No, no not yet. Where is it? It's right here. Oh, it's in a bowl. Yeah, right. we're going to remove the... That's because Chef likes to use every bowl she can. <laughs> I've used two. <laughs> two. Let's see. One, two, oh. Two. two. Three. Three. There's a third one over there on the counter. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <sighs> oh, yeah, Karen, it's our, my burners are pretty big. They're, um... It's just a big grate across the whole stove so that you don't have to be 
uh, limited to one burner <laughs> if you want. <laughs> you can put it across as many as you want. Mm -hmm. So if you have even a, like a two burner pan, you can put it on there. All right, we're going to start our risotto. Do you know I have a salmon poacher that goes on two burners? A salmon poacher? Yeah. What? It's a pan that's that you put salmon and poach it in. You know, you like put it in a bunch of liquid and poach it. Well, yeah, but you can do that in a saute pan too. Oh. I have you and your gadgets. For that. I bought it years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> hey. Oh, ranch is in. That's that's a bummer. Someday you'll have a bigger stove, I'm sure, if you want one. Darn it. This is really hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to... Oh, would you like some help? Yeah. What do you need? I need you to, like, scrape it off into the bowl once I'm holding okay. it. Okay. Oh, I cannot sit on those stools without hurting my back. Okay, what do you want me to do? Take that spatula and just scrape it in. <laughs> this is awkward. Go go through up the top. Oh. Go over. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it everywhere. Well, the, you didn't make this easy. Luckily, our maitre d' is here. Yeah. <laughs> and he is waiting on us to drop food. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Stuffed salmon today. Oh, Cheeseburger yeah. soup. Nice. Huh. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty good. You're a health hazard in the in the kitchen, flip. Apparently so much person. <laughs> Uh, it's always good to ma marry a uh, marry a cook. You'll you'll certainly be well fed. <laughs> Are you on the stove top? Uh, yes. Okay. I am still there. All Look right. at how much that has reduced. Yeah. Oh yeah. The sauce. The that has reduced a lot. It's a lot better to do. Uh, can I have some white wine? Really? Wine is good. Well, that's what I said before, and you were like, really red? No, then I said, oh, you're using balsamic. <laughs> and pomegranate, I said, yes, use red. Okay, I agreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brand Shazam. Shazam. Brand Sh Gosh darn it. Brand Sh Shazam. Oh, my gosh. Look at those words and how they're not working. <laughs> I don't know. So, Bran Shazam, did you make the stuffed salmon yourself? Where'd the olive oil go? There we are. Maybe we can just call you Bran for short. Can we call you Bran for short? Yeah. I have really ish. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just having really a lot of issues today talking, talking in general. In general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had to do. We've been doing a lot of it. Don't you? I mean, yeah. It just takes practice, Bran, to work with dough. Okay. Um, this is pretty getting pretty thin right now. I'm gonna turn it off and see where it's at. You can only really check once it's off and once it's. Oh yeah, see that right there? You bring the. Spatula. The spatula through the sauce and it takes a little bit for it to fill up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably ready to go on that sauce. Might need to reduce it a bit more, maybe. Did you already add the wine to it? No. Oh. But I also have some balsamic reduction that I've made before that I could add to thicken it. And it never needs to be refrigerated? Nope. In fact, you said don't put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. I don't recommend putting balsamic reduction in the fr refrigerator because it'll be really freaking hard. <laughs> and it gets crystallized. And it gets, uh, yeah, crystal crystals all over it. Yeah, I've had this uh, particular reduction for about uh, three months now. All right, so we're going to, oh, I almost forgot about starting that risotto. 
Oh, that's such a nice thing to do, Flipsy person, with your five-year-old. Make sugar cookies. They love it. They love it. Be prepared with lots of frosting and uh, lots of mess. <laughs> put down a, uh, I used to put down a vinyl tablecloth on my counter. That way they could make as much mess as they wanted and I didn't have to worry about it. Then I could just lift it up and shake it outside and wash it off. <laughs> Hose it off if necessary. <laughs> So this risotto is pre-made. It is more than okay to to do a, a pre-made part of your dish to just to save time because I know everybody doesn't have all the time in the world. I just happen to have a lot of time because I'm out of a job. <laughs> oh, Brand's a freshman in culinary arts. Oh, cool. Very nice. And he, he said he can't work with uh, wine yet. Oh. Um, Probably not old enough. <laughs> That's wonderful though. Very nice. No wonder you're making such fun stuff. <laughs> that explains a lot. It does. Stuff salmon and um, fun stuff like that. Cheeseburger soup. That's very different. Oh, yeah. Cheeseburger soup is pretty good. Oh, Hannah, does your dad work for Schwann's or something? Or does he just buy things from Schwann's? We love Schwann's. It's our favorite. The Schwann's guy came today, in fact, and I forgot to order stuff, so I didn't get anything. <laughs> so, you know, I did say this was a one-pot meal. I meant the main entree is <laughs> in one pot. Yeah, that's <laughs> not really a one-pot, is it? No. What's in that back? Oh, that's our risotto. Yeah, that's the risotto that's melting. Yeah. Okay. And as I said before, the risotto is from Schwann's. And, um, you know what would be really fun? To light this on fire. Oh, Bran is uh, practicing for his college cooking competition. He said Bran is short for Brandon. Oh, cool. By the way. Oh, wow. What are you going to do, Bran? Jessica was in a, a few competitions. Uh, your, your team won a couple of times or once or something. Yeah, we got a silver in the ACF. And ACS means? Um, American Culinary Federation. It was an American Culinary Federation competition. The ACF uh, grants a whole bunch of, uh, well, I say a whole bunch. They, they grant um, scholarships for culinary school students. Oh, good, Brand. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to turn this guy the back down because... What's your favorite soup to make, Bran? We did not want it to burn. We have a stream on here, if you want to look it up, of... Um, I think it's on Twitch still. It might not be anymore. It, but it is. We have it on YouTube. Of making, um, we made tortilla soup. And we made... Um, what was it that we made? Oh, shrimp bisque. Yeah. And uh, make sure we, we found out one thing though we didn't do. We didn't strain the um, shrimp bisque. And um, the yeah. shrimp bisque was. Um, Shelly? Shelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had shells in it. And it wasn't really supposed to. So no, no, it is supposed strain. to, Mother. Uh, no, you're supposed to strain it. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to strain it. But the shrimp bisque. Daughter. You're supposed. <laughs> you are supposed to grind up the shrimp shells with the mirepoix and then cook and then put it back into um, your your soup liquid and cook it for 10 minutes and then strain the the shells and the mirepoix back out yeah and then cook it a little bit uh, cook, cook your now soup your bisque uh, a little bit longer yeah and uh, finish it off with some uh, cream Oh, cheesy shrimp chowder in a bread bowl. That sounds great, Bran. That sounds uh, really good. Trojan zombies? Uh, no. That's just a, a definite no. <laughs> but, but thanks for the suggestion, maybe? No. No. Um, <laughs> Judge Dragon, hey. Hey, Judge Dragon, how you doing? Crunchy bisque, Judge Dragon says. <laughs> Yum. Yeah. Yeah, not really, no. 
Yeah. <laughs> not so young, no. Not so young. I, I wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> so, and if I don't, uh, you know, I love this. <laughs> oh, there you go, Bran. Thank you. Roast beef, he says, the Trojan zombies. Because right. the reduction is still pretty <laughs> darn thick. Trojan. Thin. I'm going to add some of my already made balsamic reduction to thicken it up a bit. You can see how thick it is right here. Like I'm holding it on its side, it's taking forever. Yep, there you go. And I'm going to grab a spoon. Take about a tablespoon of this. You see how thick that is? That's what we want. Just kind of swirl it around in there. So Trojan zombies, where, what area do you live in? <laughs> asking because that's an odd ingredient to use for most of us Americans, I think. At least us Western, Western Americans. Maybe Midwest is more common. I don't know. What is the ingredient? Ugh. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Guys, if I could, I would just drink this. Oh, I have a weird obsession with balsamic reduction. Oh, yeah. California? You're in California? Well, I thought you were somewhere more exotic. Okay. All right. Now that I've added the thickened stuff to it, it's almost ready to go. We're going to drop our vegetables right back in with our chicken. So Bran is currently working on sauce making skills. Nice. Sauces are so important. They are. They're, they're really the backbone of recipes, I think. Don't you? Oh, yeah. They, they can make or break a, a recipe. The right sauce can just make it so special. I mean, anything, really. Yeah. You can take some fish and put the right sauce on it, and voila. You've got something really voila. special. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So you see the way the balsamic reduction kind of coats the back? Uh, oh, soy sauce is hard to work with, Fran, because sometimes it, it makes it um, too it salty. And it's hard to know the right amount. I tried making something with soy sauce recently, and I royally messed it up. Mm. <clears throat> it tastes really good with that pomegranate. So I went to the store and I bought hoisin sauce and oyster sauce and I mixed those two up together and that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just just like that. It's perfect. <sighs> yeah, we're going to thicken our balsamic reduction a little bit and uh, we're going to kind of let it hang out there for a moment. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me right now. Um, any culinary related questions is cool. And uh, let's see. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I will love you forever. And uh, I, you can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef 2. And I also have a Discord where you can contact me, maybe drop off a few recipes that you want me to try. Or, or something like that. Discord is, uh, it's like if TeamSpeak and Skype had a baby and it's better than its parents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Brand, your consistency on your sauce, was it too thick or too thin? Because if it's too thin, you can actually add some um, cornstarch to a, especially a Chinese Asian kind of sauce. Yes, to uh, thicken it. Cornstarch is definitely. Um, an acceptable thickener. And taro root also. Oh, taro root even more. Yeah, I really like taro root, but it's expensive. Thanks, Hannah. Isn't it? Wait, am I thinking of taro root? Yeah, it taro comes, root. You can buy it in a jar all powdered? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, taro root is a thickener. Well, that's a different thing. Your sister can't eat fish, but eats shrimp. Huh. So she can eat shellfish, but not regular fish. Huh. That's unusual. It is. Boy, your sauce looks wonderful. Yeah. Looks perfect. I think we're just about done reducing it. We want it pretty thick because 
if you put balsamic reduction um, on it and it's a little too thin, it's just going to look like splashes of black. And it, it doesn't really look that great. And if you have a thick balsamic reduction, then it, it keeps its lines that you put on there. We're going to drizzle it on there and it's going to look really tasty and really fun. Oh, it was thick. Well, you could have maybe added some juice. Any more juice? Some kind of juice to it since you wanted the sweet. Maybe some pineapple juice and a little water. But just FYI, there, if, if the sauce tastes good and the consistency isn't there, there's usually a way to fix that. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, <laughs> PS10B. Oh yeah, PS10B. <laughs> you you came to the stream yesterday, didn't you? It's PS. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen again. Thanks for hanging out. We're just giving these a good saute. So we're almost done, yeah? Oh yeah, we are almost ready to plate. All right. See, we told you this would be fast. <laughs> Yeah, I think the thing to do would be to just prep the vegetables in advance, and that just really helps out. Well, let me prep in a little bit more, too, maybe. Because it still took us almost two hours. I'm okay with that. I know. I know. I am 100% okay with Would that. you guys like to see a faster stream where, where we cook something from start to end in just an hour? Or is this good? Let us know. We're trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying, we're still trying new things with our stream. We'll get it down eventually, but... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we may always change things, just because it's fun to do. Yeah. Look at that sauce. Is there any left? Yes. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it, but it's really thick. <laughs> All right. Did you ever put wine in it? I put wine into the chicken, yeah. Oh, okay. Just to steam it all around. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Trojan. Yeah, make a PB&J sandwich, one hour stream. <laughs> you know, that might be really, really a long one. Oh, Bran. Are you away at school? Is that why? Where area are you going to school? And um, if you don't mind us asking, what culinary school are you going to? Oh yeah, what culinary school are you going to? Did you already tell us that? <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> they're, they're telling us long is good. It, it takes, it takes, uh, it's, Nice to see the cooked products, a longer stream, okay, Judge Dragon says. All right. Well, we're also trying to get more viewers, guys, and so we were just wondering how to attract even more viewers to our stream, and because uh, we would like to do this almost every day if we could. Oh, my. Oh, wow. P.S. Tenby. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> that is really weird. That is incredibly weird. <laughs> Where is Manchester? Are you in England? England is in Manchester. Well, there's other Manchester. Manchester, England. <coughs> England. Bran, are you in Across England? The sea. If so, way cool. <laughs> I'm a genius, genius. I believe in Claude. Sorry guys. No, I'm, I'm... <laughs> You're looking at the stuff people are saying. So Bran is home. But he said he gets lonely. Probably from going to school and having to hang out by himself a lot. Yeah. Well, that makes your deeds, Mario. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. <laughs> You can also follow me on Twitter. Somebody wrote proposition. You get more viewers if you let them taste it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bran is in Connecticut. Nah, oh. nah, nah. Manchester, Connecticut. 
Manchester uh, Community College. So there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is really funny. Proposition. <laughs> oh, we got a follow. I didn't. Oh, thanks for the follow. Was. Thanks for the follow, guys. I don't know who it was. If you want to type in chat and let us know, um, feel free. Or if you want to lurk, feel free to do that too. We love our lurkers. Can we go here? Oh, oh, hi, Anna. Anna says, I can't wait to see you and Goobers. Yeah. We have not set a date for that yet, but um, we will be streaming together. And I'm thinking that we should make, because he wants something green, and I can't think of anything more green than uh, spinach pasta with pesto. <laughs> Right, right. I don't know why does he want green. Oh, because that because is that's his color. His, that's his that's his color. It's oh. the, it's the goo. See, I I couldn't understand at first. I thought, does he want like? It, does he want like uh, vegetables? Because they <laughs> sound like goobers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you have it on the lung? Is what? it on this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sweet. Handle. Dearest. Handled. <laughs> Dearest daughter. Working chef. Trojan Zombies challenges you to make a dish using only canned food. We can be spam. Yeah. Yeah. Go I can ahead. do a chili. Oh, that's easy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, we will take your challenge and we will run with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, any, only canned food. We'll think about that. We can, of course, make chili, which is really easy. But when we want to put some, um, um, do you want all that on the camera? Do you yeah. want me to get rid of the little window showing you for a sec? Uh, no. I can just turn off the little... No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. We don't want Chef to go away completely. Okay. Okay. You guys, see how this thickened Squid. up? Squid. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I have used squid before. It is incredibly difficult to clean. We are not, not going to use canned squid, Trojan. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 no. No. Uh uh. No. No. We, we would <laughs> cran it. We could take spam out of a can and fry that and put that in our chili. Yeah. I'm game for that. I bet it would be really good. It probably would. Yeah. Cran it says chili with meat and mini corn dogs and cheddar cheese. <laughs> All right. We'll work on it. We'll let you know what we came up with. I love a challenge. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. We have our risotto. 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 Why am I having issues? It's risotto. I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Do you really? I do. Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. I tell you. Oh, you can't change it that way. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm getting rid of chicken ingredients. All right. I forgot to put up the balsamic ingredients, but that was pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty simple. No. So there you go, you guys. You can see this is a really lovely dinner. And we get to eat it in time for dinner for a change. This is fun. <laughs> we don't have to eat at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock and then be starving by 9. Some people are starving. Uh, Some people are satisfied. Uh, you were hungry last night. You were so. Nice. At 2. <laughs> 2 a.m., yes. <laughs> well, that's what I was hungry. Who isn't hungry at 2 a.m.? I was hungry at 2 a.m. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Hannah, I do not care for octopus either. Yeah. Trojan, if you go to a, um, 
Uh, if you go to a Japanese restaurant, you can usually get octopus. In fact, you can get it as sushi. And a lot of times, I don't think they fry it though. <laughs> Where do I enter the sweepstakes to, to win a meal? Sign me up. <laughs> Alright guys. Moment of truth here. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't glop on. Uh oh. Oh, look how pretty. That is lovely. Yeah, this one's going to glop. <laughs> I'm with you, Bran, about octopus. Yeah, <laughs> not, not a fan. Look how beautiful that is. Now that is a lovely dinner. And you can see... The sauce was really easy to make, but it just, oh, no. oh the spoon just went into the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't big enough. Don't put it back in there. <laughs> it does production. look like molasses, doesn't it? But it's not. <laughs> All right. Mm, that balsamic really adds a lovely flavor. Um, the pomegranate. Does it? It really makes that much of a difference? Yeah. That's nice. Now, if you wanted to be super fancy, you could take some sage leaves, and that would be pretty cool to kind of display on over here. And you could um, lightly pan fry them, but we're not going to do that today. I was going to do it, but I'm really hungry right now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, we don't need it. Yeah, and the final pictures will be put up on Twitter. No Trojan, that is not chocolate syrup. That is a reduced balsamic vinegar sauce. A pomegranate reduction, a pomegranate balsamic. Here, I'll put the, uh, I'll put it up on the, hold on guys, I'm going to put the ingredients up on the screen for you. Because I'm just that fancy. There you go. That's what's in it. As you can see, it just has a half a cup of balsamic vinegar, quarter cup pomegranate juice, a half of a shallot minced, some thyme, and a little bit of garlic. Did you put garlic in it? I forgot the garlic. Oh, see, we didn't even put but, garlic in it. But the, um, the stuff that I made before has the garlic. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> Trojan said he was calling. We didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right yeah <laughs> brand <laughs> oh, brand thought it was Adele calling <laughs> so all right so what are you doing now just putting a little pomegranate garnish on there <laughs> chef really likes her garnishes so, it's so funny because by the time I'm done cooking, it's like all I can do to just be done and clean up. Oh, <laughs> and garnishing is the last thing I think of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always so tired. But I'm a lot older. Mm -hmm. So, are we done yet? Yeah, almost. almost. Okay. I'm going to take a picture for Twitter and Discord. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that mm -hmm. follow button. Select that heart, and I will love you forever. And um, you can follow me at Working Chef too. So, um, are we on the big screen mm -hmm. for the wide angle? Oh, no. You want to go back there? Yeah. I'm still reading things. <laughs> I can't multitask. You know that. <laughs> All right, now we're not on the, Not many people can. We're on the, we're on the wide angle. Would you like to eat now? I would like to try it, sure. I'll come over there. Ouch. Ouch. <clears throat> I need more coffee, too. All right, thanks, Judge Dragon. It, I think it looks pretty good, too. Yeah, <laughs> it looks really pretty. Bran says he has a hard time with plating. Oh, yeah? It just takes practice. It takes practice and time and... Uh, Really, just, if you plate everything, and I mean everything, when you're at home, 
you make a box thing of macaroni and cheese, you Played blade it. it. <laughs> Is that what you did? Yeah. Did you just practice all the time? Yeah, I practiced all the freaking time. Ah, there you go. So that's how. And then I also looked up online of uh, different garnishes that people can do. And I learned a lot from my catering partner, too. Yeah. yeah so he's you'll really learn fancy. a lot from others. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mmm. They're really good. I like those. The risotto is really nice with it. Yeah. Um, look at the chicken. Yeah, granites. Practice and time. <laughs> <laughs> but the chicken is so pretty. It's all dark and and glazy looking. How'd you do that? Um, that's the balsamic reduction. I just drizzled it on there. Oh. But I also seared it. Uh, yeah, the chicken on the pan. was seared though, right? Yeah. Excellent. Is this mm. all of our chicken that we had? Mm hmm. Well, there's more. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. There's enough for like probably two or three more servings. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Pig blood tacos? Oh. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Trojan was talking about that earlier. That's why I didn't say it out loud. I couldn't. <laughs> That just oh oh um what's just what and who's typing in proposition in prop what does that mean it's like a a command like uh, like um here's a proposition for you. Kind of. Huh. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to... Oh, am I completely whited out? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, spoiler alert. No, I'm white. no. No. <laughs> Prentice, Prentice is saying because of the blood. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we should do a vampire show. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe for next Halloween. And what's rude? Um, pest and bee. <laughs> pest and bee. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so should we sign off yet? No. We're no? Not we're not gonna. You're gonna <laughs> eat the whole thing in mm. front of everybody? Yeah, we're not. It's so rude. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the show. That's what they're saying. No. No. Okay, never mind then. Well, that is probably what my past and be is. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you'll eat food like that. Well, you can make it yourself. It's pretty easy stuff. Mm. He's the one with, with the partner who likes to cook. Oh yeah, that's right. It lets me know he's talking to me if you're referring to the at. Are you referring to the at? I'm referring to the proposition line. I don't get yeah, who's <sighs> typing that. I don't know what proposition that. line means. Right there. Oh, that's that's a person, Mom. Oh! <laughs> but they have a exclamation in, mark in front of their name, no? No. Oh. Look, look a little closer. It's an L or, oh. or a capital I. Oh, oh glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so if oh. you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. <laughs> we are going to be back on Monday at 1.30, and we are going to be doing a full meal. Uh, Monday at 1.30? Monday at 1.30. Okay. We're going to be doing um, a full week's worth of meal. Week's worth? We're gonna do an entire week's worth of meals in there one 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 show. We're gonna make things that go together that you can make ahead in just a couple of hours. This is our goal. Mm -hmm. That we're gonna show you how to make a whole week's worth of meals to package up for the week and keep in your refrigerator so that you can have fresh meals every day of the week. Yeah. Right. 
easy to and read. Fresh and relatively healthy, at least. Yeah. At least relatively, if not healthy. Yeah, and, and super easy to reheat. Um, possibly in the microwave. I, I know that... Um, <sighs> yes, in the microwave, and on the stovetop, and in the oven. Oh, we got a follow. I don't know who it oh. is. I can't see the computer's way over there. <laughs> Thanks for following. Thanks for following. <laughs> Trojan <laughs> said awesome. <laughs> cool. Cool. Well, if you guys have any suggestions for quick and easy meals as well, we have some ideas as to what we're going to do already. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we think we know pretty much what we're going to oh, do. Oh, and that's uh, 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. We're going to take some, some foods also that are like some... Uh, I, I was thinking about using that frozen chicken I got at Safeway that's already in pieces. Mm -hmm. And it's... Uh, it's marinated, but it's raw. So I thought that would be a good product to use, don't you think? How's my mic doing? Oh, microwave. Oh. <laughs> my microwave at my house is hardly ever used. Oh. Um, will you stop it? Just let me finish <laughs> a sentence before you oh. completely, I don't know, do whatever it is you do. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um... I, I mainly use it to um, reheat um, already made meals, but the best way to like reheat rice is in the microwave. You put a little bit of water in the bottom, and if you, especially if your rice ended up hard because maybe it was completely exposed to the to the elements in your fridge, you uh, put it in a bowl, a microwave safe bowl with a little bit of water on the bottom. Ooh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> oh. Waffles. Continue. <laughs> Sorry, distracted. <laughs> and um, cover it with saran wrap and throw it in the microwave. Also, Costco has this nifty product. It's rice in a bag. It's in not in the refrigerator section. Hey, nine lone pandas, welcome back. But it's organic, and it should be really good for you. And we have this. My husband and I have this once in a while. So there. The big faces. I cook this in the microwave. I'm just saying. <clears throat> All right. This is really good, guys. Um, I think we're gonna be moseying on, signing on off. off. Um, Hannah, could you put up the Discord uh, command for me, please? Thanks, Hannah. It was nice seeing you again today. Frozen waffles? They weren't frozen. They're actually uh, waffles? Belgian waffles. Yeah. Oh. They're really bad and too easy to make, so don't get them. <laughs> I hid them in the cabinet from my husband because he likes them too much, and then I totally forgot about them. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, see hooks. See hawks. <laughs> you say see. See hawks. <laughs> that was lame. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really, you supposed this to would be it. really good with some mushrooms on it. Oh, mushrooms. That mm -hmm. would have been nice. Mm -hmm. I would have liked some mushrooms, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go Seattle. <laughs> I'm not sure where we're going this year. Oh. <laughs> if we're going anywhere. The Man Summit. Um, uh, I don't know what you posted, but... Oh, bummer. I always ask for, for permission. And, um... Hannah, we should know what it what it is that he's posting before we give him permission to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she asked, see? Okay. She's on it. It's okay, the man summit. Aww. <laughs> you just got moo-botted. We're not, we're not getting you. Or, I'm sorry, night-botted. We're not kicking you out or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, the man summit. <laughs> oh, what, what are you for, tro apologizing for, the Trojan? <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody saying sorry now? <laughs> are you guys Canadian? 
<laughs> oh, a picture of your fox. You have a fox. No. If you really have a fox, we want to see a picture of that. Yeah, so Hannah, give him permission. A fox? Is it a... That isn't a car reference, is it? No, the, he just got a fox. All right, thank you, Peston B. We'll be back um, 1.30 p.m. Monday, Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a cute name for a fox, Xavier. Well, you can look at it. Yeah, but not on okay. here. If I do that, then it will completely delete everything and mm. bad things will happen. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah. Pizza is actually kind of more expensive to make yourself, actually, it actually is. To, to be truthful. <laughs> Well, it does if you eat a lot of it, though, you could do it cheaply yeah. enough. Because yeah. don't forget, a lot of people have to pay like 20 bucks a pizza. They don't have all the choices we have. Oh, that's right. Like, we can usually, I think at like Pizza Hut or something, you get a $5 pizza. <laughs> no, more like 10 Oh, $10. But still. But still, that's pretty expensive. Once you buy all the cheese, inexpensive. It's all right, that man summit. <laughs> Do we got a recipe for caramelized onion? Yeah. Butter. Pan. Hot. <laughs> butter in the pan. Onions. Slice thin. Drop them in there. Add a little salt. Caramelize them. Don't use sugar. That's cheating. <laughs> sugar? Yeah, some people put sugar into their caramelized onions to caramelize it even more. Mm. And faster. It's mm -mm. so gross. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, sorry if that's the way you do it, but I do not agree with it. <laughs> it just takes a long time, don't you think? Yeah. To do it right? Mm-hmm. Oh, Little Caesar. Hi, Minnesota Tom. Tostinos. Tostinos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ew, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think we're gonna, oh wait, we gotta say goodbye. Oh. It's our little maitre d' right here. Wait a minute, I'm gonna get Ziggy too. <laughs> I told Prentice I'd show Ziggy. I totally forgot, uh oh, she's hiding. I don't know where she went. So this is our maitre d. His name is Mario. He is a corgi. Ah, he's a big one at that. This guy is 30 pounds of pure meat muscle. And maybe a little fat, but not much. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. He moves around too much all day to be chubby. And this is Ziggy. Oh! She's I just found her hiding on the couch behind a bunch of pillows, all snuggly, snuggled in. Hiding from Mar Mr. Mario, I'm sure. <laughs> Ziggy comes in at a whole whopping 15 pounds. <laughs> she's all fur. Yeah, she's all fur. Yeah, so guys, remember, um, my next stream will be... Don't put him around the table. <laughs> oh, that's... Just resting her. It's not right. Just put her down. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's not right! Oh, Mario, don't chew on her. Mario. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, I yeah, our next stream is at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday. We may or may not do a little something during the weekend, but probably not. And it will be, uh, let's see. It'll be... Pacific Standard Time said that... You can follow me on Twitter for any updates at Working Chef too. <sighs> yeah, Ziggy does want ch uh, chicken. Yes, she does. <laughs> Ziggy would like anything, actually. All of them want the chickens. No, they all want it. 
your dog will eat everything. Even yeah. rubber bands. Yes, apparently. he'll eat rubber bands too. <laughs> anyway, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday, we will be doing a week's worth of meals that you can uh, package up and reheat later for the rest of the week. And there'll be a couple health, a few healthy dishes in there and some not so healthy, probably. Probably. <laughs> We haven't likely. decided yet. Yeah. So if you want to uh, give us some suggestions for that, you can uh, tweet me on my uh, Twitter or on the... Discord. You can uh, contact me on the Discord and just drop recipes in, into it. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys all for, sh for uh, hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. <laughs> the man summit just watched the movie Straight Outta Compton. I haven't seen that, have you? No, I wanted to see that. Yeah, though. I wanted to watch that. No, I don't know. After our Man in the High Castle marathon last night, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to ever watch anything for a while. Yeah, we <laughs> oh, stayed, we stayed up till nearly 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. <laughs> I know we say goodbye like ten times, ten or twenty times. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for, for hanging out with us, and we will welcome you, welcome you back into our kitchen on Monday, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, for delicious week's worth of meals.